or slash organization. What am I doing with my hands? Yeah. Um, hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, um, I'm in a different location. I'm on my bed because there is a window right here. And the reason I didn't just start initially filming in this location was because I didn't love the background. Like, I. I mean, it's just kind of, uh, I don't know, but the lighting is so much better here, so just comment down below, let me know if you guys like this setting better, or if you guys like the setting I'm in right now. So, um, yep, just let me know, I would love to hear your opinions, and yes, so with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get started with today's video, and I'm going to be doing a binder tour. This is kind of just a school organization video showing you guys how I organize binders, notebooks, folders, just all that kind of stuff and just kind of showing you guys around my school life. So I'm going to get started with this thing. This is my binder for the year and um, I mean it's not, it's not a binder, it's a pocket folder, file folder deal and I have almost all of my classes in here and one of the little things fell out that is so annoying oh my god little tabs fell out but I have almost every single class in here some of the classes require separate binders that's why I don't have every single class in here but um, most of my work I've been keeping in here so whenever I get a paperback or whatever I just stick it in there keep all notes stuff like that in here so I have just the classes in order in the order of the day so like my first hour is biology then I have algebra English, health, and nutrition. And so all the papers I get are in there. And then I have one section in the back where I keep notebook paper and also my schedule. So that is pretty much this. It's pretty self-explanatory. I just keep all my papers in there. Next, moving on, I have my pencil case and my pencil case if you are wondering is from Target actually I did a back to school supplies haul so if you guys would like to see that um, here's a link right here and I can also put a link in the description for mobile users so anyway this is my pencil case and I keep my calculator and just you know pens pencils highlighters, red pens, sharpies, number two pencils for like um, scantron tests and stuff like that, more pens, and the other flash drive, I have flash drive in there, the other pencils and pens I actually keep in the front pocket of my backpack, but I'm going to be doing a whole separate what's in my backpack video that will hopefully be up soon, I ordered a new backpack because this backpack that I'm currently using right now is too small, I can't I mean, like, it's stuffed full, and I not e I have, don't even have everything in there. Like, I had to leave a couple binders at home um, because I kind of fit them in my backpack. So, yeah, I ordered a new backpack. Hopefully, when it comes in, I can do a what's in my backpack. Okay, next, moving on to my actual binders. These are my binders. Um, this one is for social studies down here. It has my name. But I made this cover for it and just insert it in there. It's really easy to do this. Um, you just cut out a triangle and like stencil and then you stencil things on and then you can just glue it onto a paper and stick it in there. So anyway, um, for this binder, I really don't have a method for this binder. Um, I don't know what the teacher wants so I really haven't done anything. It's just kind of a place right now where I'm just hole punching my papers and putting them in there. Um, so yeah, I really don't have like a certain plate thing that I'm doing with it. I'm just kind of hole punching papers and everything, but I really liked the cover, so I wanted to show you guys that. And then down here just says social studies with my name on it. Um, now this binder does have an organization method. It looks like this. I did a DIY on this binder actually, on the binder insert, so and um, some other school supplies and locker essential stuff like that. That will also be linked down below and right here. So, you guys can go click on that video once this one's over. So, anyway, this is what my binder looks like. And in this binder, the first thing I have is my little memo pad. I have a memo pad because that's what my teacher wanted. 
for vocab and stuff like that. Then I have two, this, these are my Spanish, some of my Spanish one papers. So I have them in these, these little plastic protectors. So right here, I just labeled it down here and it says Spanish one important papers, things like vocabulary, stuff like that. And then in the second um, pocket thing, I just have my Spanish one notes. This is Spanish one notes at the bottom. Okay, next for that, I have my syllabus is just right in the front. And then I have things like, I have a section for handouts, I have a section for vocab, and then I have a section for notes. So that's what I did last year and it worked really, really well. Um, so hopefully this year it works well too. So that's kind of how I organize my Spanish binder. Just in case any of you guys are in Spanish or you have a one binder for a particular class, that's what I have. I just have all that stuff. Okay, what's next? Homework. Homework goes in this folder. I just have one folder that I put all my homework in. And it always works out so good for me. I love just having a homework folder that I can put all my homework in. So this side is for homework that I have to finish. And this homework is for the homework that I've already done. Um, I've done this all throughout six from sixth grade to now actually my whole school career I've done this but like in elementary school I really didn't have that much homework but every time like switching classes it's just so hard if you just put your homework in here because if you don't if you're not organized and you don't remember where what classes you have homework in or you don't use your planner and stuff you're probably not going to get your homework done so I this is the best method for me this is what I really like to do um, so I can come home, check the folder. If there's anything in the um, left side of the folder, then I know I have to finish it and get it done. Okay, next for notebooks. These are my notebooks. I thought I'd show you guys them. This first notebook is my math notebook. Nothing special. It's from Target. I've had it for a while now. It's for math. This notebook, oh my gosh, the label got ripped. This is a sad day. This is a real sad day. Anyway, this is my social studies notebook. It looks so cute. And I had just got black notebooks. Um, I got black notebooks. Um, I needed more notebooks, so I thought I didn't haul those, but I got more notebooks and they're black. And I thought they were really ugly. So I decided to change them. And I just took a magazine paper I found a cool page from a magazine put it on the put it on there hole punched it and it looks really great and then the inside flap is also like that so this is my social studies notebook then for my biology notebook I just it's just a composition notebook and in the corner all I did was write biology with my name on it on a little um what are these called? Labels. Now for my planner. This is what I really wanted to show you guys was my planner. Also, this planner I DIY'd also in that school supplies video that I also, and I made this in there too. And I also made, did some locker organization and this bookmark. So you guys can learn how to make all of that in that video. That will be linked down below. Um, the bookmark just fell out. Okay, one second. Okay, so for my planner, what I like to do is we have these tiny little baby planners. What I have been doing is anytime I have homework, when I walk into the class, the teachers usually have um, the board and it says homework on one side. And if there's nothing under there, I don't write anything under there. But I just write, let me see if I can get up close. Okay, I write down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's how many classes I have. Then by it, I will write down what homework I have. So... Um, second hour, I had to have my dad check my math homework, so I wrote that down. Fourth hour, I had to finish a project. I wrote that down. Um, then, if I have tests, quizzes, projects due, any of that kind of stuff, that's not just like do the next day, um, whether it's a quiz and stuff, like right here, I will highlight it. And that will pop out to me and I'll be like, oh, I have a quiz I need to study for. So that is what that little highlighting thing is. That's the way I've organized my planner since 7th grade, and it's been really great. 
I really didn't use my planner last year though, so, you know. Um, but seventh grade, I used my planner a lot. Not a lot, but sixth grade was the prime time to use your planner. But I'm really trying to use it this year. Not necessarily fill it out every, for every single class like what we're doing, but just as far as homework, it's a great organization tool that I think everybody should use. And, uh, yeah. All right. Now for the last thing I have. Actually, let me put this back in there. The sticky note has to go back in there. Now for this, this is my Calm Arts notebook. We have to have a three subject notebook. I don't know why. Um, yeah, so the way I organized this was she actually showed us yesterday what the three sections are gonna use, be used for. I love these giant labels. These giant labels have been my best friend. If you guys noticed, I labeled this folder with them. I put, um, lab I put labels on everything. I just love it. So anyway, I wrote that on the first section, feedback, debriefs, and quick responses. Then on the second little folder, marker, tile, tab thing, I wrote article of the week. That's the next section. And these, yeah, these things are great. These little labels, I love them. Then the lax, laxed section, the last section is vocab. And these make your notebook so much cuter. the little labels. Um, Especially if you have fun scissors, you can cut them out in like chevron or zigzag or squiggly lines or something. It makes your notebook so, 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 so much cuter. So I would definitely recommend doing that if you want to. The next thing is how I write in my notebook. Um, how I take notes and stuff. This is how I take notes. I take notes in colorful pen. It's so much more fun to study. It's so much easier because you have fun down so then it's easier for you to remember and also it just looks a lot prettier than gray all over your page so that's how I like to write notes take notes and it just looks so beautiful and I just love it so um, that completes my binder tour slash organization video I really hope you guys enjoyed it. if you did let me know by liking it if you guys have any video requests or anything let me know in the down bar and also I would love if you guys would follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Google+, all that stuff is linked down below. Also, at the end of this video, it's linked, or it's not linked, it's shown. Um, a lot of you guys know I've been having trouble with my computer and all that junk lately, and Instagram is the place to be. If I don't upload on a day, you, and I usually tell you on my Instagram, I'm like, I'm so sorry I didn't upload on Tuesday, my computer's having this issue, all that kind of stuff. So then you know that I'm not just not wanting to do YouTube it's just my computer's having major issues right now and that's no excuse because I should be finding other ways to upload and stuff on another computer or something but I just don't yeah and also school started so it's just been a little chaotic and I think I just need a little bit of a break I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know by liking it and I will see you guys later bye